classical performance on stage. You were talking to a red jacket at University of Chicago green robe adult choir. The link was for the Chicago Children's Choir. This is what I've studied classical. They gave me no piece of paper. So and they said it is in you. They paid me an M and M's. I starved to death. I lived off M and M's during the Carter administration with the hostages, like E. T. He starved to death. His classical performances. You want a classical performance? Joffrey Ballet into the orchestra pit. Six six vocalists. I was concert soprano. Uh, we had to hold a note. The Joffrey Ballet. Under order of Ron Reagan Jr. in 1984, hold one note for like, I don't know, eight bars. It was. We are not kidding. The Trinity. The number of churches, Rockefeller Chapel. Um, that would be Noise Flutet. The chords are. Um. Curie Eleison, which went out at the same time that uh, Mike and the Mechanics was releasing Curie Eleison. I was a turtle on the head. University of Chicago graduates work all their time to get up in their black robes to sing. I was there as a red jacket on Thanksgiving for Noise Flu Day. Classical performances. And then I went back to study at College of Page back when New Chicago was a two-year college under order of Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut. Yeah, Toby the tuba. The tuba runs straight to the front. The tuba is at the front, but they send her to the back. Harold Bauer, PhD. Um... I don't know, concert violinist in the front, Michigan Avenue, we sing. Upon introducing the Columbia College to Music Theory, Columbia College Chicago, is that they told me I didn't have to take this course in Music Theory, for I'd already done the classical performance. But the problem was with the Red Jackets, the story was that the founder of it, Christopher Moore, was denounced in the crypt that turned out his uh, grave. And I, I know that, for I go to the crypt, for my family's crypt is there, with their tomb, and it moved over to the side. Uh, do you know what it's like to sing the national anthem for Harold Washington, and then the protesters come in? I am still fighting this to this day. They are protesters. They were terrible. It was rough. My brother, John Winston, named after John Lennon, he's from Russia, buying out, rusifying the entire Lennon thing. There are two Lennons, one with the glasses, one with a name. The rusified one is the one with a name. But in terms of classical, what performance have I attended that I liked? Um, you can talk about, uh, well, hey, in, in uh, College of the Atlantic, Harvard Marine Biology, just for biology and the music department which is not affiliated with Harvard at all oh they go out with their cellos and play and like open mics and stuff like that and play all around but I don't know the Trinity man with the Joffrey Ballet on the stage and no I did not look up to the stage strict classical training stayed at my post. The lead, there was nobody so let loose yam da et clali tam uri tam tam kayamos. It went, nobody so let loose yam da e clali tam uri tam tam I understand I will probably get a failing grade for this for I phoning it in. Now I'm doing it over the mic, for I am blind, and I have my muscle memory is for the guitar. I cannot type. I will type you some, but this is it. The performance, I have no stage fright after the Chicago Children's Choir. All these people like Liz Fair who go out in there, hey, she's nervous and stuff like that. All these Johnny guitars, wannabes that want to go out and play the blues at the North Atlantic Blues Fest and stuff like that. Hey, let's go. Yeah, I guess what? I got a lawsuit against Samantha Fish. She took one of my songs, took my thousand dollars. We're trying to get our money back. Classical training, uh, Nosferatu, uh, fucking 
split level, three level Hammond B3 keyboard in Red Jackets. Conductor Keith Hampton playing. Uh, my experiences in the choir are ridiculous. And I have a seat at the Congregational Church in Ellsworth, Maine as a tenor as soon as you get through this. What did it do to me? What did it do to me? What did it do to Galileo? They put him next to Galileo's father was a musician. I am a musician. But yes, I went into exile because people don't believe that I actually did this. Um, all the Baptist churches, all the way down. We talk about Baptists, you know, you talk about like, um, I don't know, Hudson College, you know, moving on up, singing Baptist. Yeah, I love that, man. Like, um, Baptist, Southern Baptist, no, just like Baptist, like, hey man, we have this song, It's Gonna Rain, and it went, Can't you see the clouds gathering? Is the Sopranos? And then, and then the altos go, Don't let it be said too late. That was conducted with an E. There's a brand new feeling in the air. And it's a tenor, and, and then the bass comes in, Better run to the ark before the rain starts. We were singing this at New Chicago at the time of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I punched my brother in the nose. He was a bass. All right. He was not married in the family, but he sure was for a long time. Red Jacket, Chicago's Clinton Squire. No piece of paper. This is why I'm studying this course, is to get the piece of paper. All right. Yeah. What are they paying in? M&Ms. I starved to death. Jimmy Carter, the Iron Hostages, Day 476. I didn't get no child support. I sung my way out. Classical music. So they talk about, you know what the problem with classical music is? They come in with the rich kids, come in and say, yo, we can do this. We're rich. My idea was Nipsey Russell. I'm going to sing my way out of the ghetto. I'm going to tap dance my way out of the ghetto. I went into the choir, into the Red Jackets, to find a way to earn some money. There is no money. Did Mozart earn money? I don't know. Yeah, like, I get that. You know, I did some things. I see some guitar. The only time I ever did was at the estate of John F. Kennedy. And they paid me handsomely with a 1099. And Martha Stewart bailed me out with a W-2. All these guys out there in Maine with their fucking open mics and stuff like that, that's Nihilator. I teach them that. That comes from a U Chicago to teach them how to play. Guitar students are unworthy, and they do not pay, and they say, tell me how to do that, thank you, get out. And you know what they say? When I give, like, a College of the Atlantic at U Chicago and Nihilator, and I give them their senior project, and tell them, hey, you can graduate, and I do their work for them, you know what they say after I do their work for them, and they graduate? U Chicago. College of DuPage, Harvard Marine Biology, not affiliated. They say, well, you didn't do anything. And I organize the whole thing. You know why? Because I'm classically trained. All right, I'm going to drop my major scales into a mode. All my guitar playing has come from classical training at the Chicago Children's Choir. Mr. Zappa would say it came to his high school teacher. My stuff goes to Christopher Moore. At University of Chicago. You can see him published with a Picasso, Chicago Children's Choir, in concert. The idea was to stop violence in Chicago and go in and sing, and it worked for me. With your, like, main state militia and your fist fighting and your headlocks on stage with the people who come back from Ushuaia with Orno and say, sing karaoke. And they say, bounce me. I say, I'm not that kind of a bouncer. If you want to talk about going to a classical performance, believe me. Show up to one of mine.